We're in the shower. What are we doing in the shower, you ask? <laughs> Watch and find out. Oh, 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 oh. I think much better. Our neighbors, right behind us, they're a little sketchy. It's a beautiful day for travel. Pick up your poop, man. Pick up the poop. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. <laughs> We have quite a bit more to still share with you of mm -hmm. fun stuff and RV travels and miscellaneous things. We are going to start with where we went to visit your parents. And we usually stay at the Great Outdoors mm -hmm. RV Resort in Franklin, but we decided we wanted to try some other place and mix it up, mix it up a bit. And so we found a park called Tuckasegee RV Resort. It's on 74, it is right kind of between Bryson and Silva mm -hmm. and Bryson and Silva Cherokee kind of surround this area so yeah. it's a lot to do in that area yeah. and still not too far from where Chad's mom and dad are mm -hmm. and it was a great little park the employees were really awesome they're very very helpful very friendly it's like a very southern feel and people are super friendly super helpful it's just great people it's called Tuckasegee RV Park because it's right along the Tuckasegee River. Mm -hmm. And that's a plus. And it's beautiful. And the sites along the riverside were humongous. They were yeah. so long. They were like 90 feet long sites. They oh, were yeah. super, super long. It seems like most of these sites, especially along this side, are all really big. Yeah, those are sites. Beautiful right there on the water. And then most of the sites along the riverside had little sitting areas along the water in the back of the site. Ooh. Hope we get some rain. It's because we're going to start walking and filming and so it's going to start storming. Always. There's a sitting area back here with the fire pit. Overlooking the river. Butterflies and summer skin Lightning Exploding through She got tired. Those little legs tuck her out fast. <laughs> yeah, that's a rough life. You got a rough one. Yeah. There's a little walking path down and there. And there's too. a walking path. That's another bonus, which was really, really nice. This campground has a little path that goes along the river. And then you can start it here. And you can walk all the way down. And it actually comes up right by our RV. And then there's a couple of other access points to get back up to this road. Here's our RV right there. Traffic jam, those bills are due. Will you remember the innocence of you? Fireworks inside your heart. Sunshine still bursting. Come to the end. For a couple of downsides, which weren't even really that bad, but the sites were all on the river, but on the other side of the river is that highway. Yeah. And so there was all the highway noise and that was pretty constant. However, I remember it didn't really bother me as much as road noise usually does. Well, it's a flat section of road, so we don't have any big engine braking going on. That's true. Yeah. And no like crazy loud trucks climbing uphill. Yeah. And then the other thing that did cause a little bit of noise was on the other side of the park is a railroad track. Those trains don't run all the time because it's like the it's like a city. Scenic, scenic railroad mm -hmm. kind of thing. Sometimes it's really cool because there's a steam engine. But when that thing comes through, it's a really cool thing because the noise of the steam engine and it and the just- horns, The horn yeah. has that different steam engine horn sound, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> so those two things normally bother me, but they don't bother me here. So you guys know it's not that bad. One other benefit they have at this park that's really neat, we didn't get to do it, is the rafting. Yeah, that's right. They have rafting trips all up and down that river, but they have one that will come pick you up at the RV park, take you up river and drop you in. So you just float back down to your campsite. Yeah. That's cool. Really, really fun. Of course, we were there to visit with your parents, but the main reason we were there at that time frame was because we wanted to surprise his daughters. Oh, and, and boy, <laughs> did we. Tell the folks what you're doing. We're going to surprise my girls. They're coming to visit Chad's parents. We're going to let them get in here, sit on the toilet for a minute, and then surprise them. No. <laughs> That's not how it's going to go down. Here they come. No board. Here, you get in. Get in. Get in. You get in that side. Hey, how's it going? Give me a heart attack! What the heck? Surprise! I have a feeling. Oh my god! I'm not going to be a short time. Sorry, we scared you. What the heck is it's kind of a thing in with me and the girls. I like to scare them and surprise them. And so this was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While the girls were in town visiting, they wanted to go and get some lunch somewhere. And this being a Monday afternoon, not a lot to open. So we decided to go and explore Silva, North Carolina, because we Cheap haven't been town. there. Yeah, we haven't been there in a while and the girls hadn't been there in a while either. We found one of the few places that was open, which was City Lights Cafe. And that's the place that has the cafe on the ground floor. And then there's also the bookshop that it's connected to oh, okay. by the steps. Yeah. We really enjoyed our lunch. And then we just walked around downtown Silva and popped into some of the shops, which is always fun. Yeah, those, those are neat little towns are always fun. One thing that we like to do is we like to go to the antique shops and stuff. And there's plenty of those in that area there. So Franklin's got a lot, Waynesville, Silva, that whole area has great antique stores and thrift stores and stuff. And speaking of antique stores, we did check one out in Franklin. Yes. The it, Whistle Stop. The, the Whistle Stop. Yeah, good, good job. It was the Whistle Stop Antique Mall. This place, we have never been, and I don't know why, because it is enormous. It's an old schoolhouse, mm -hmm. but a large school. That was kind of neat because it's in the gymnasium and you can go up on the stage for part of it. Yeah, yeah. Now all the rooms are still marked as to what they used to be. So that was pretty cool that you got to see like the cafeteria and the gymnasium, like you said. This antique mall just went on and on and on and it, there was so much stuff to look at. You think you've finished and then nope, there's a whole <laughs> nother floor. <laughs> We're looking for an 8-track of Herb Alpert. Found it. Oh. Are you surprised I knew that? Yeah. And it's just cool to see some of the things that maybe remind you of your childhood, because we're now antiques. That's <laughs> true. Next up on our unseen footage list is traveling from the Tuckasegee RV Park up to Elkhart, Indiana, so that we could see the first prototype for the 410. And so this is, yeah, and we stayed at Harvest Host in Kentucky for our overnight stay, Benton Family Farms, and this was a great overnight spot for us. Yeah. Are you excited or something? When you get the poop bags out, that means good times are happening, huh? Sure. It's windy outside, but it's beautiful. And so we're going to take this little whiny doggy for a walk around this farm and see the goats or the horses farm or the donkeys stuff. and the farm stuff. Farm stuff. Okay. Farm creatures. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi. I believe there's spots for six RVs there and a couple of them actually have electric hookups and we were the only ones staying there that night. So we got to have one of the electric sites and it was a $20 charge for that, which is fine because we probably would have done Absolutely. that anyhow. Yeah. Hi there. No, you don't like it? I get chickens. 
And ducks? We got the ducks? Oh, like, what are you looking at, Daisy? The rabbit's like frozen. It's like, I'm not moving, I'm a little scared. This is a nonprofit organization, and they do a lot of events for the communities and education for the community. I think this is where they have the honey and the soap and stuff. If you go there, be sure to buy something or donate something, and there's a red mailbox that's easily marked that you can be sure to leave your donation. Sometimes they have fresh eggs, sometimes they have fresh honey, they have soaps that they make from goat's milk, and goats right there on the farm. You know, you're cute. <laughs> there was a donkey, and that donkey, that donkey was talkative in the middle of the night. <laughs> Several times in the middle of the night, you would just wake up to e -haw. Oh, e -haw. E -haw. E -haw. I think much better. Oh, e I don't know. It's, now I feel like it's <laughs> my bridges or something. He's coming over to see us. Hi. Hi, bud. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. <laughs> How you doing, Buster? Oh, people. Hey, come here. So now we're going to fast forward to after the Grand Design National Owners Rally that we shared in our last unseen footage video. All clear. Hey, I just want you to know that truck is ugly. <laughs> I don't like the color. I know, you hate it. I hate it. Sorry, I think I left some drool on the front. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. We are leaving by train. Oh, <laughs> I swear, every 20 <laughs> minutes, we to train. All night. There she is, right there. We were traveling from Goshen, Indiana to Hershey, Pennsylvania, but making a stop for about a week in the Cleveland area so I could visit with a good friend of mine. We went to college together and we've known each other for a long time. There's very few places to park an RV in the not, Cleveland area. Not a lot of camping around there. No. There's a park called Woodside Lake Park, and it's on the southeastern part of the Cleveland area. This place is huge, and it's very spread out, and there's a lot of activities. Great for kids, great for families. Oh, yeah, they got that big lake there yeah. with all the toys in it and yep. everything. It's yep. awesome. Running wild, nothing to lose. Do you remember the innocence of you? Butterflies and summer skin, lightning. Huge arcade room on those rainy days. You know, we find these arcade rooms. I keep saying, I'm going to come back here and, and play some games. I don't know what our excuse was because it rained a lot. Yeah, we could have played in the arcade. The trouble is, a lot of these arcades these days just don't have the cool games when we were growing up. <laughs> I want some like Defender and Galaga. With a sparkle in your eye, forever young. Every moment this is life, take it as it comes. Jump up. The funny part about this particular campground was when we arrived, our neighbors were <laughs> yeah. a little odd. When we got to this park, we found out that our neighbors right behind us, they're a little sketchy. Yeah, they got kids running around and stuff. These guys. Have you seen these people over Have you here? Seen these guys? <laughs> so you never know what kind of weird crappy neighbors you're gonna have <laughs> it's their lovely home yeah totally unplanned random placement of our rig and their rig I mean, yeah we've never even ran into each other have we like been in the no place? just I mean, at, just at events totally weird yeah yeah, yeah just, we see each other but we're never like yeah. camped in the same camp i know yeah. and you know. then for them to put us right here like that, <laughs> that was, that's pretty funny but you know we're all going to the same place so it makes kind of sense that we're stopped that was really neat to be able to be camped next to nathan marissa hensley and jj yeah totally off the wall just happened to be there it was so weird on one of the few nice days we had we met up with my friend kelly at cuyahoga valley national park 
We're going out on an adventure hike. We're going to Cuyahoga Valley National Park. It's about, I don't know, 14 miles from here, but it's probably going to take about 30 minutes. Yep. That's Kelly. Kelly and I have known each other for a few years, just a few. <laughs> You're laughing, that's making me funny. <laughs> so this is the Ledges Trail. It's free to get into this national park because this, essentially it surrounds a lot of the main roadways yeah. and stuff. It's kind of like the Great Smoky Mountains National yes. Park. There's no entrance. You're just kind of in it and then you're not in it and then you're right. in it again. This particular hike was called the Ledges and it's in the Virginia Kendall section of the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. And this was a really cool trail. We were ruining the bat environment. Yeah. So they flown with it. It reminded me a lot of Watkins Glen mm -hmm. near the Finger Lakes. It was just a really cool, eerie vibe. And you don't expect it because you're so close to such a metropolitan area, but you feel like you're just lost in the wilderness somewhere. And it was cool with a lot of ledges and rocks. And it, the name. Yep. Oh, so this is what we were looking down on earlier. Yeah. Ah. So a couple of places like this in Ohio are, are unique in that you walk back into the woods and all of a sudden it's cliffs and stuff. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. So while we were in Cleveland, we decided to have a day of fun with Kelly and her husband, Conrad, and go see some of the places that I used to love to go to when I lived in Cleveland. We're going to go see some of the things that we used to really like to do. What is it? West Side Market? West Side Market. And that was one of my favorite things to do back when I lived there. And it's just awesome. It's this huge old building that was actually built to hold a marketplace just like this. I used to love coming here on the weekends, all kinds of vendors, over hundred vendors in there and specialty foods and bakeries and meats and cheeses. Cheese. And veggies and all kinds of stuff. Our friends, we're gonna meet them at Great Lakes Brewing Company. Taken. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the pierogies? These are Cleveland pierogies. He doesn't know what pierogies are, I don't think. This is what we're known for, the Cleveland pierogies. This is exciting. I haven't been here in years. Follow me. Okay, I'll follow you. Oh, he's taking you to a special place. Oh, I told you about me. Is he taking us to the bathroom? People know about this special place. My heart and soul. I 
like it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been up here before. And I remembered that the first stop is coffee. Oh, I could use some coffee. Wow. You guys have to get the high bucket. My goodness, the amount of delicious baked goods and there's meats and pastas and sauces and salsas. Chad, look at these sea belts. It's a corner house. It's like, it's like Flintstone shit. Those are nice. <laughs> Whole pigs and uh, Whole heads of head, stuff. Lamb heads. And, <laughs> and then there's a whole separate building that's all produce. I just love it. I love walking around there. It's, it's a lot of fun. Good people watching. Yes, for sure. What is this? Kelly, look. It's like a weird texture. They got a little seed in the middle. Oh, yeah. It's an almond seed. Almond? Yeah. Thank you. And then I wanted to go to another place that I have fond memories of. And it was this old antique shop. It was kind of more of like a 60s and 70s theme. Uh, retro. And they have different areas that are set up as rooms. Living room with like the old TV and the old sofa, and, but everything's for sale. It's just fun. Look at Shaggy. Zoinks. Chad goes straight for the Playboys. Shocker. <laughs> for some reason, though, you didn't really, you didn't get into that one as much as like an antique mall. Not as much. I don't know if it was my, I wasn't an antique. A lot of clothes, and maybe yeah. that's why. There's yeah, that's true. It was a lot of vintage clothing. It was more of a vintage shop than an antique store. Yeah. Yeah. So Chad and Conrad found a couch and just hung out and waited for Kelly and I to, to do our thing. I'm just going to have one glass. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys were good sports. <laughs> made a last stop at Edgewater Park, which is right there on Lake Erie. They've made a lot of improvements to that park since I was there last. And it's really nice. The big Cleveland sign, which is cool because you've got the city in the background. So, yeah. of course, we had to take some pictures there. And then we said goodbye to our friends and hit the road the next day. It's a beautiful day for travel. We looked at the forecast yesterday and it only was like 25% chance of rain this morning. So we didn't load the bike and do all that stuff. And that was a mistake. <laughs> it always, somehow always rains on travel days.